In today's video, I'm going to show you how we took a single day converting our recording booth into a multi-purpose YouTube studio, which also doubles as a recording booth. So I started off the day as a man with a plan, and that was to convert the Chat Inc recording studio here in Limassol into a YouTube recording studio by the end of the day. Challenging? Yeah. But doable? Also yeah. At about 11 a.m. the courier arrived from Nicosia who delivered all of the things we would need to set up our studio paper roller system. And this is about the time where I want to give a special mention to Rusos CY. They're not the sponsor of this video today, however they did help us get all of this stuff here in a matter of days. They called me, made sure that all of the order was correct before they shipped it out. They're brilliant, brilliant people and if you're in Cyprus and in the market for things like this, video, photo equipment, anything like that, definitely check them out. I'll put a link to them down in the description. So I brought all this stuff upstairs we would need from downstairs that the courier brought us. Inside the small box was the roller system which contained some hooks, the rollers themselves and a bunch of plastic chains so that we could bring the paper up and down as we needed. I began measuring the paper rolls to have a look how much space we would need between the hooks. Now in my case the Lastolite rolls from Manfrotto that I was using are 272 centimeters in length however you should definitely check yours before you actually do this because different rolls from different companies definitely differ. Using the rollers as a guide I also had to figure out how much extra space we would need for this to work so I essentially figured out that we would need a couple of extra centimeters to actually be able to hang everything on the hooks and then I basically started planning to elevate myself up to the point where I would need to drill and that's where we ran into our first obvious problem. I forgot to get a step ladder which is uh, interesting because I'm not standing on the office chairs to do this. Delia, thanks. Bye. Good to have nice neighbors in it. With the ladder sorted, I basically grabbed a pen, got up on the ladder and started marking out the areas that I would need to drill inside the wall. Now that went really, really well for the bottom holes, got the row plugs in perfectly. However, the top ones, there was some kind of solid concrete behind the drywall and I just couldn't do it. It destroyed my drill bits and it absolutely knackered my Ryobi. So I essentially just called up the perfect guys for this, the builders, the legends that are Leonardo and Stas and they basically just came over and installed it the rest of the way. I pretty much know when I'm defeated and I pretty much try until death, but that would have completely destroyed my drill bit, so it's a good thing Leonardo and Stas were able to come over here and help. After that, we basically just installed the rollers into the rolls of paper and hung them up onto the hooks. I then installed the chain and we ended up with this. I think it looks really, really nice. However, I wasn't finished just yet. So to end up finishing everything, we basically grabbed a bunch of lights and my microphone recording equipment and we plopped it all down and ended up with this. I personally don't like patting myself on the back when it comes to these things. However, I personally think that this YouTube studio may actually be the nicest one we've ever filmed in. I've set it up specifically for my needs and anyone else's needs who's gonna be filming in here from the crew and I just think it's absolutely Top of what we could do here. Over the next couple of weeks, please make sure to look out for a bunch of videos that are going to be recorded in here. The whole series of Technophobia is going to be recorded in this new place, so please, please, please keep a lookout for that because we've got a brand new video on the Sony A7S III, the camera we're recording with right now, coming out in a little while. But thanks very much for watching, guys. This has been Chris from Ice Bear Productions, and I'll see you in the next video. Oop, I'm out of here.